Hello visual learners! In today's video, we're going over everything you need to know about digoxin. Make sure you stick around to the end as I go over some helpful memory tips and key facts that will surely show up on exams. So if you're ready, then let's color and learn. The compound in digoxin digitalis is the oldest compound in cardiovascular medicine that continues to be used in contemporary clinical practice. The brand name for digoxin is Lenoxin and Digitech. But did you know that the active ingredient in digoxin originates from a bell-shaped flower called foxgloves or digitalis purpurea? And if you probably guessed that these flowers are purple, then you're right. But the coolest part is that the inspiration behind the naming of these flowers is based on the fact that they look like digits or fingers of a glove. So when you think of digoxin, you use the visual anchor of a glove. Let's color the gloves in yellow to remind us that digoxin can be used in arrhythmias. And let's color the foxglove flowers in purple to remind us of digitalis propria. As I alluded to earlier, digoxin is used for heart diseases such as supraventricular tachyarrhythmia, or a fancy word meaning irregular heartbeats that occur above the ventricle or chambers of the heart. It is also used for atrial fibrillation and flutter and heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. Color in the image to help you retain this information. Some contraindications and precautions to keep in mind that will likely show up on exams. Digoxin is contraindicated in patients with ventricular fibrillation. If you're scratching your head and wondering why it is contraindicated in ventricular fibrillation when it is indicated for supraventricular arrhythmias, you're not alone. Similar to other antiarrhythmic agents, digoxin is proarrhythmic at toxic levels. Patients with impaired ventricles at baseline are more prone to ventricular tachyarrhythmias. Additionally, it should be used with caution in patients with second or third degree heart block without a pacemaker, sinus node disease, or AV block as the digoxin toxicity can worsen these conditions. But how does it work? Let's look at digoxin's mechanism of action in arrhythmias versus heart failure. In arrhythmias, digoxin works by direct suppression of the AV node, also known as the gatekeeper between the atria and the ventricles. Digoxin slows electrical conduction in the AV node by increasing the effective refractory period and decreasing the heart rate. In heart failure, digoxin works by inhibiting something called the sodium-potassium ATPase, or sodium pump, in the cardiac cell membrane leading to small increases in intracellular sodium that helps drive calcium into the heart, resulting in an increase in contractility, positive inotrophy, and increased cardiac output in heart failure. In simple terms, digoxin increases the force of each heartbeat to increase cardiac output, meanwhile decreasing the heart rate to allow more time for the ventricles to fill. Moving on to side effects. When you think of digoxin, think of the mnemonic DNH, which stands for digoxin needs help. This should remind you that this drug is not usually given alone, but it's also used in combination with a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker. Even though digoxin has been around for a while, it is often not given first line because of the serious side effects that can occur with digoxin toxicity. Some of the less serious side effects include D stands for dizziness, N stands for nausea, and or vomiting, and H stands for headache. The key side effects to remember are the symptoms of digoxin toxicity, which includes loss of appetite, bradycardia, blurred and or double vision, greenish yellow halos around lights or objects, confusion, delirium, and arrhythmias. Time for another fun fact. It's been speculated that the famous painter Vincent van Gogh suffered from digoxin side effects that led to the yellow tinges in his famous painting, The Starry Night. Now let's discuss some clinical pearls and counseling points to keep in mind. Counsel patients to report signs and or symptoms of bradycardia to their healthcare provider. This medication requires serum drug monitoring periodically, especially if the patient has renal impairment. You want to ensure that the patient maintains adequate hydration to decrease risk of toxicity. Before we end, let's take a minute to review because repetition is the mother of all learning. When we think of digoxin, use the visual anchor of what again? Yes, digits, or in this case, a glove for the plant from which the drug is derived, foxglove. Digoxin is a heart medication used to treat conditions such as supraventricular tachyarrhythmias, atrial fibrillation, aerial flutter, and heart failure, specifically heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. 
But how does it work? In arrhythmias, digoxin works by slowing electrical conduction where again? Yes, that's right, in the AV node, decreasing heart rate and ventricular response. In heart failure, digoxin inhibits what pump? Yes, the sodium-potassium pump, leading to small increases in intracellular sodium that help drive calcium into the heart, resulting in an increase in the force of contraction and cardiac output. What kind of side effects can you expect from digoxin? Yes, let's go back to our mnemonic DNH, which stands for the Joxin needs help. Since it is not usually given alone, but often used in combination with a beta blocker or calcium channel blocker. DNH stands for, D stands for dizziness, N stands for nausea and or vomiting, H stands for headache, and in cases of digoxin toxicity, the side effects are even more severe and fatal, including loss of appetite, bradycardia, blurred and or double vision, greenish yellow halos, confusion, delirium, and arrhythmias. All right guys, that is it for today. If you found this helpful, click the subscribe button for more. Let me know if you have questions in the comments and I will be happy to answer them. And remember to never stop having fun while you learn. And if you're interested in getting more information from our top 200 drugs made easy coloring book, I'll leave a link to the product below in the description and I'll see you in the next video.